Hi, welcome back to Walcott Fine Art. I'm Jason Walcott. In today's video demonstration, I'm going to do the first in a series of videos on how to paint different kinds of metal. So today, let's take a look at how to paint brass and or gold. So hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, and as I said in the introduction today, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about how to paint uh, brass and or gold uh, and the colors you'll need uh, to do that. And I'm going to keep it simple today. We're going to just use five colors and the colors are cadmium yellow light. Uh, I have quinacridone magenta here. You could also use quinacridone rose or alizarin crimson if you have that. Uh, transparent oxide brown you can uh, also use burnt umber here uh, in place of that works perfectly fine and then I have the chromatic black that I use uh, and you could also use ivory black just be aware that ivory blacks a little cooler so it might not uh, it might make sure mixtures look a little bit a little different but it should work fine and uh, white of course so and I've got a little bit of a Tone canvas piece here that I tone just to get rid of the white that we can work on and so uh, I just got this simple picture of a brass bowl and that's what we're going to use today uh, to do our demo okay so the first thing we'll do is then just put a little quick little sketch in here uh, to make sure that we get the bowl in Just sketch in the basic shape there. Okay. Okay, so now that that's done, let's get into the colors and uh, you want to use and how to paint like I said, brass or gold. So <clears throat> a great way to start with metals is to start uh, with the highlight, because uh, usually in oil painting, you can put the highlight in last, but with metals, they're so shiny a lot of times that uh, it works well to put the highlight in kind of first and then go back and shape it down with the uh, mid-tone color of the object. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm mixing up a little bit of white and cadmium yellow light here. So that's white and cadmium yellow light. And then what I want to do is get a little bit of this on my brush here. And then just put that in in the area where I see the highlights and put it in sort of thick. like that. Now what we can come back and do is come in and shape those with a darker color. So your basic color of brass and gold is going to be uh, your burnt umber or transparent oxide brown, which is what I'm using here. Uh, but basically burnt umber and cadmium yellow light. So those two colors mixed together gives you your basic gold color. We'll mix those together like that. And <clears throat> a lot of things, a lot of things that, or one of the things that trips up beginners is they think of gold as being shiny, you know, because it's yellow and it's shiny. And so then they tend to paint it in light yellow. And although gold is yellow, you know, it's not it, it's going to reflect all the colors around it. So if you look at the picture of that brass bowl, I'll put it up again. You'll see that except for the highlight and right around the highlight, a lot of it is actually pretty dark. And that your brain is telling you it's gold because of the way the reflections look in the, you know, in the sides and in the, in the planes of the bowl that are facing other directions. So it's really helpful if you want to paint metal to really look at 
really look at the object and pay attention to the colors and the, the light and dark shapes that you see because that will help you not make that mistake of just like painting it in a too light yellow. So once we mixed up this basic color for the bowl, then we can just start kind of laying that in. I'm just gonna do this roughly here. And uh, what I said about coming back, we see we'll come in and we'll cut the highlight down with our brush like that. And it kind of mixes in and makes a little bit of that like a halo area around the highlight and then just leave a little bit of it and it's also giving us our lighter area on the brass so then okay I see it comes in here And then your darker areas where it starts to get dark, you can take more of the brown or burnt umber, transparent oxide brown, mix that in. Uh, you could even mix in a little black with it to make it darker. But to keep that black from making it too cool, we'll add a little bit of the quinacridone magenta, which will kind of add some red tones to it. Because shadows look better if they're warmer. So that's a pretty general rule that you can usually follow. Is that shadows will look better warm than if they're too cool. So. And see, I'm just laying in basic color at this point. And and then when you have an object like this that's that's rounded with a like a bowl or a cup it's going to be your highlights are going to hit kind of the opposite way so there's going to be a highlight here and a dark area here in the top inside rim the highlight's going to be here and the dark area is going to be more on this side because this side is facing away from the light so go in with a little bit more black and a little bit more crimson mixed into that color and then just in here and you can kind of follow the planes of the that angle there again like we did with the other one so and then you'll see if you look at the picture of the bowl uh, that this bottom plane is reflecting the light surface on uh, where the bowl is sitting so it's gonna get just a little lighter and warmer on that underplane so we'll add a little bit more crimson to our, or rose to our, under here. So it should get just a tad lighter in this area here. A little bit more crimson in there, a little bit better. Get it a little bit warmer. And then it gets really dark on that underneath part. So we'll mix a little bit more black and a little crimson together. We'll go in here and put in that really dark area underneath. But see, the metal is, you, you know, metal is very shiny and reflective. So try to remember that when you're painting it and you'll you'll see that it looks better when you put in those dark 
areas because it's reflect and it's the reflections really not the light color but the reflections rather that are telling your brain that it's shiny so if you learn to paint those values in correctly then it'll look shiny but you'll avoid that beginner's mistake of making the object too light so and then the rim you see another light area around the rim there so you can put in a little bit of a highlight right there with a little bit of yellow and white so highlight right here and then again you can come in with darker color and kind of shape that down You can always come back in and put a highlight sort of back in if it gets a little obscured. Blend out the edges of it. And then lighter reflections on the side where it might have some reflected light on it. You can just go in with a straight little bit of cadmium yellow light without mixing it with anything else and just kind of Blend that in a little bit. But it's those reflections, like I said, that give your eye the sense that it's it's a shiny metal, even if the reflections are dark. So that's your main thing to watch out for, is, is getting those reflections right. And then that will go a long way toward making your object look like it's metal. So that's just a very quick demo to kind of show you how to paint a shiny gold or brass object. And again, just to recap very quickly, uh, the, main, uh, the main color of the brass will be a mixture of burnt umber and cadmium yellow light. Your darker areas will be into that mixture. You mix in a little black and quinacridone rose or alizarin crimson. And then your highlights and real shiny areas will be a white with mixture, uh, a mixture of white and cadmium yellow light. So, so that should, hopefully will clear a few things up for you when painting metal. And I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I will see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!